Landscape architecture is about place. It's everything outside of the building. The scale of what kind of place you can deal with ranges from a tiny courtyard to an entire region. And it allows you to think about what makes places unique and how you can interact with those places without destroying that unique character. The field of landscape architecture would not be what it is today without the contributions of one of LSU's most beloved professors. Born in New York in 1913, one of Robert Doc Reich's earliest memories was as a cross-country runner. He was great at coming in last, he said, because he was always too busy enjoying the landscape. After earning his doctorate from Cornell, Doc arrived in Baton Rouge one night in 1941 and was in class teaching the very next day. At the time, there was only one other landscape architect practicing in the entire state of Louisiana. Well, I think Doc was at the center of the program here at LSU. He had this passion for the profession and passion for teaching. And that passion and that love uh, was just, it was contagious. And people around him caught on to that. Sometime after I graduated, the School of Environmental Design was established and it was decided that they would bring together landscape architecture, architecture, graphic arts, and move out of the agriculture school and they gave us the Huey P. Long Field House. Finally we got into our so-called, we still call it the new design building. In the early days, it was a one-man show to begin with. Doc chose very talented people on the faculty. And their ability to teach and the fact that they devoted their entire career to this school and the students of this school is pretty profound. After one of Doc's closest friends, the horticulturist Emery Smith, passed away, he left the land that would become Louisiana State University's Hilltop Arboretum to the School of Landscape Architecture, knowing that in Doc Reich's care, it would continue to nurture and inspire students as an extension of the landscape architecture classroom. Hilltop Arboretum is a very special place for our students. The way it's been used by students over the years has really evolved as well. The students do projects out there. It's often people's first chance to have first-hand interaction with plants and how you manage them, which is a really valuable experience. It's an escape for our students. I think they see it as a special place to go when you want to be quiet and just be in nature that has a little control to it. We were inspired by this man, Emory Smith, his way of life, his love of plants and design. And so that is a unique asset of this school. At the Robert Reich School of Landscape Architecture, we're committed to three principles, helping you find your voice as a designer, broadening your perspective by visiting landscape architecture destinations around the world and making you a part of the LSU landscape architecture family. I think it's kind of a best kept secret. I, I don't know if you'd call us pedigreed, but there's just something about the school. It's esprit de corps. It's the belief in the individual, the belief in the students to do what they need to do to develop their own approach. We don't teach students what to think, we teach students how to think. And that kind of philosophy has carried through even to this day where, you know, we're encouraging the students to be themselves and to bring their experience and their life into the profession so that we can all grow from that. They really care about our education and just being the best that we can be. They really focus on what interests us specifically and just how to make that the best it can be. A lot of my landscape architecture degree kind of actually influences my art that I actually practice and a lot of my photography actually is influenced by what I've been studying and I want to recapture that through a different lens. While I'm learning 
all these new techniques and skills. I'm also encouraged by my professors to develop my own point of view and design style and design principles. You can just go knock on a door, step into an office and sit down with a professor and have a 20, 30 minute, sometimes even hour long chat about your goals and where you want to go. And that's been such a big piece to how I've structured my way throughout the program. For all the incredible resources the LSU has to offer, we know there's just no substitute for letting you see the world with your own eyes. That's why travel is such a crucial part of our landscape architecture curriculum. The travel that most influenced me was Japan, China, Bali, Hawaii, Mexico, Portugal, Brazil, Switzerland, Berlin and Paris, the Netherlands, Dominican Republic. It's one thing to see something in a photograph or on a slide, but it's another thing entirely to experience the spatial aspects of a place. You can't learn everything from books. You have to go and experience it on the site. It opened my eyes to different cultural traditions and to an aesthetic that I had no knowledge of. The values that Doc instilled in the School of Landscape Architecture continue to be passed on from one generation of alumni to the next. The School of Landscape Architecture at LSU really is a family, a family that takes care of each other. I think that family atmosphere and the nurturing aspect of our curriculum is what's so important and what I would tell a student is way beyond what you're going to get elsewhere. We have maintained those close relationships and that close connection and they call us and we call them and we try to make sure that we get the right fit for the students to launch their career. To think that I'm the person now that is the director of this program that has such a legacy of excellence and it's really important for me to take care of that program, to make sure that we stay true to the foundation of the program, Doc's vision, and we stay relevant, and that the program continues to build on the legacy of excellence so that we have that major impact and influence on the world and on landscape architecture. We invite you to join the next class of globally recognized, award-winning graduates at what has been recognized internationally as one of America's leading and consistently top-ranked programs. The Robert Reich School of Landscape Architecture is situated in the heart of a campus originally designed by the world-famous Olmsted Brothers, a campus where the past, present, and future of landscape architecture meet. A campus where stately oaks and broad magnolias shade inspiring halls. And students from all walks of life get the knowledge, skills, and support they need to make their mark on the profession of landscape architecture and become part of a tradition of excellence.